Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the difference between EBS and S3. So Elastic Block Store is a block storage and S3 is object store. As you can see, with EBS the data gets stored as chunks or blocks and with S3 the objects get stored as with its own metadata. So block storage stores data in fixed size chunks called blocks. Each block houses a portion of the data. Because the data is piecemeal, address is the only identifying part of the block. No metadata is stored with the objects. Whereas you can see with S3, the metadata is stored with the objects. Typically block store is a lot faster than uh, the object store. So we'll move on to the next slide and we'll talk about uh, some more uh, information about EBS versus S3. So Elastic block store files are split into evenly sized blocks of data. Each block has its own address but with no additional information. Block storage can directly be accessed by the operating system as a mounted drive volume so the performance is really fast. With S3 object store it includes metadata with a file. It includes as many tags about the security classification so you can keep adding as many tags as you want. You can have a lot of metadata there. And then some of the examples of S3 object storage are S3 standard, S3 intelligent tiering, S3 standard IA, one zone uh, infrequently accessed, Glacier, Glacier D, Deep Archive and S3 outposts. Moving on, we'll talk about some of the use cases with each of them. So with EBS, the use cases are, it is uh, used for virtual machines, databases, because performance is very good, media rendering, analytics, caching layer for analytics, flash optimized databases. So you can see all the use cases are where there's very fast access of data, application scratch disk, rapid virtual machine backup, and read-only data shared across virtual machines. S3 object store is you can use save your data for disaster recovery so you can keep daily backups there. It is used for genomics, uh, websites, so if you've got S, uh, static websites, it's a great place. For tape replacement, so you've got old formats, you want to move them or store them somewhere else, S3 can act as a really good backup for that. Similarly for regulatory archives. Documents, because you want to store metadata, so that's a good place. Backups, data analytics, images and videos. So these are a few of the considerations when how you're talking between EBS versus S3. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.